Hey YouTube, today we're going to give you guys a quick product unboxing video and a brief overview of a Poulan Pro uh, PP521ES single stage snowblower, uh, 5 horsepower, 21 inches wide, um, that's widely available at your local Costco dealer. Um, at Costco Canada, this unit only sells for $469.99. And I actually just ordered this on a promo for $329.99 delivered to your door plus taxes. So looking at the inside of this box, we can tell that um, the packaging is not too, too bad. They've got some wood bracing in the box here on the one side. And it looks like this wood brace actually fell out on this side. Now for those that like a visual depiction of what needs to be done, uh, there's a quick start guide um, that shows you basically 10 steps on what you need to do to put this unit and get it up and running. So basically the only assembly that we need to do on this unit is add engine oil and fuel as well as attach the included plastic chute located in this bag and basically just snap it onto the discharge outlet right here. So one of the first steps in getting this unit ready for startup and use is to, of course, fold the upper section of the handlebars up in this manner and remove all the packaging and any tie wraps that may be attached to the handlebars. And then to tighten the thumb knobs, as you see being demonstrated here on both sides, so that they're tight and secure. To assemble the chute assembly, we've got the main chute right here and then the chute direction handle and how we're going to assemble it is we're going to essentially slide the chute handle onto the main chute and then using the three included bolts and nuts we're going to attach it to the main unit. In order to assemble the chute properly we need to ensure that we actually use the bolt here and pass it through the chute from the inside out so that the snow doesn't get caught on the nuts itself. As you can see here, the bolt passes through from the inside out with the nut being tightened down, just hand tight on the outside of the chute. And there are three of these nuts and bolt assemblies, one located on the left and right of the chute and one directly below the center handle. Hand tighten the nuts. In order to assemble the upper portion of the discharge chute, there's actually a slightly different harbor for each side. One side actually has an adjustable handle assembly here that where you can turn this adjusting knob to loosen the tension on this bolt that will enable the chute to tip up and down. Meanwhile, on the other side of the chute, we just have a simple bolt and nut combo so that it can pivot on. Much like how the lower chute nuts and bolts are assembled, we want to assemble the bolt from the inside out with all the nuts protruding on the outside of the discharge chute. Using a wrench and appropriate holding tool, Hold the back side of the bolt and then using your nut driver or wrench to hand tighten the fastener securely. Much like the other side, you're going to pass the bolt from the inside of the chute to the outside. The difference with this side is that this is the one with the adjustable knob. So we're going to pass this long bolt through and then place the washer on the bolt followed by the thumb knob. Next, inside your hardware kit, you'll find that there's a little piece of black tubing. That basically just goes over the end of the adjusting knob bolt. The next step here is to fill the engine crankcase with 16 ounces or about 0.47 liters of the included 5W30 oil into the crankcase. How we're going to fill it is we're actually going to be pouring it through the oil fill uh, tube on the top of the motor located here. Reattach the oil filler cap. So something to note about uh, this particular snowblower is that the oil dipstick is actually at the back of the unit, right there. So on the uh, instruction manual, it does state that uh, the dipstick location could be in various in a different location. 
uh, as opposed to where the fill cap for the oil is right there. So if you're going to be checking the oil level, make sure that you check it at the back side there. Next, put some gasoline into the fuel tank by removing the fuel cap and filling with at least half a liter of fuel. Replace the fuel cap. Next, remove the keys from the starter rope assembly by cutting off the zip tie. In order for us to start this engine, we need to insert our ignition key, place it into the ignition slot and press firmly down, also making sure that we slide this lever down here to the choke close position, and then pressing the primer bulb at least two to three times, and then giving the starter rope a quick, brisk pull to start the motor.
there you have it folks. That's a quick run of the Poulan Pro 136cc snowblower. Uh, I did a fairly decent job there. It uh, cleared some of the big snow drifts without any hesitation. Uh, some of the bigger ones you might need to uh, slow down a bit and take it at half, uh, half, half lanes versus the full lanes. But as you can see, it cut a nice channel through the, uh, the sidewalk here without any issues.